Hello everyone. We are in the Stop Business Model and we are talking about why having a great technology or new product is not enough these days. And here we have reached the tools. We are needing a tool. We need something that helps us dive through the complexity here. And I have a tool here that is not only just a tool, it's also fun to uh, use it uh, to find a new way of looking at the system that you have created, at least in your mind already, about how to sell that idea, that product or service that you are creating. And here it is. It's from McKinsey and Company. And it's a five step process that should allow you to turn, let's say the prevailing, the, the most often used business model in that industry that you are in upside down. And the first challenge here is to define the industry you are in. Let me give you an example. If you're producing information for cooks, for example, or information about food for customers. Which industry are you in? Yes, uh, that's not enough information for you to define this because you don't know how this information is being delivered. Some people may answer that you are in the publishing industry because you are publishing books that are designed for cooks or for people who like to eat. But maybe you're in a very different um, format where this information is delivered. And then maybe you're suddenly in the travel industry because it's about restaurants and foods uh, while you are traveling somewhere else. If it's a platform that is allowing you to rate uh, different yeah, restaurants or maybe famous cooks. Maybe you're in a completely different industry. The question that is important here is what, what can you be com compared to? And uh, I want you to uh, think back to the stop market where we have been diving into uh, different levels of competitors, competition. Look into these questions here and try to define the industry that you're in. And then that's only the first step. Um, try to find out what is the most often used, uh, the dominant business model in that industry. Now we come to the second point. When you know how you know, this works. How is the value exchange in most of the cases in, in that industry that you're relating yourself to? And then you uh, go deeper and say, what is the most important belief uh, that is supporting this business model? Do you know what I mean with belief? I mean, what's the basis, the basic foundation? Why, you know, is money exchanged here? Uh, are you buying a book? Are you renting a book? Are you renting a machine maybe? Um, is it all about owning something? Um, can you turn that upside down? Is it not about buying a drill anymore, but about the created hole that that drill was making? That's number three. Now, can you turn this upside down? Can you create it in a different way? Can you redefine the value that selling a certain product and service has created for the customer uh, in a way that creates maybe even more value for that customer? And yes, you could have your really crazy ideas here. And that's why number four is the sanity test of that uh, reframed idea 
uh, of how you can uh, yeah, create that monetary economic flow for your organization. Big step here, sanity test this new idea that may have come up and then translate this reframed belief uh, into a new business model. Sounds very abstract here and is probably very abstract uh, uh, without an example. Um, it doesn't really um, make sense here because anything uh, I would give you here as an example would come would somehow pin you down, I think, um, and frame you in instead of giving you that open uh, white paper um, to really think in a crazy way. Um, maybe you get together with your team and uh, have a couple of beers or drinks and then think of, uh, you know, crazy new ways um, that you can sanity test the next day. But, uh, you know, having listened to a lot of uh, founders' stories, there was definitely a lot of uh, beer involved or ideas that came under the shower um, that made it into that new uh, form and uh, was translated into something that would work in a create creative and new way after all. So take your time, have a session with your team about this. I can guarantee you that it is fun if you keep your mind really open and not everything too serious, uh, because that's where creativity can really uh, yeah, um, blossom and, and, and uh, open new doors. Allow yourself to think differently, to think in a crazy way and uh, to have fun doing that before coming back to sanity testing uh, the craziness. Thank you very much. Um, wishing you a lot of fun. Um, please come back to me if you have questions. The very first obstacle is really uh, defining the industry you are in. And if you don't get that right, if you don't, uh, you know, spend enough time in defining this, um, yeah, it, it may not lead you anywhere. So uh, please ask if you feel that you're not getting anywhere with this, um, then you definitely need some input from the outside. Thank you.